puffed rice cereal. I really don't understand why there are so many people on the internet who say that these are among the healthiest cereals because I really feel like it's almost only carbohydrates with hardly any fiber, fat, or protein. So today I'm going to test this on myself and see if I'm completely wrong or if it really raises my blood sugar a lot. In this 50 gram portion of dry cereal, many people say it's healthy because there are very few added sugars. We see there are only three grams of added sugars, but there are still 43 grams of carbohydrates, which is almost entirely carbohydrates, and only four grams of protein with a tiny bit of fat. And if you're interested in your health, I really recommend downloading this app, Sugar AI, because it helps track everything you eat and its impact on your body over the long term. For example, we can see that for me, Puffed rice cereals have quite a lot of carbohydrates compared to my daily portion. Let's go, we're going to check my fasting blood sugar this morning. It's at 88, and I admit that I'm very curious to see what impact it will have. After five minutes. 15 minutes. 30 minutes. One hour. So in the end, it spiked 78 milligrams in less than one hour. It's really huge. I would really like the people who say that it's healthy to explain in the comments why you consider it really good for glucose, because clearly for me, it's not working well.